Tuesday afternoon. Well, I took a load of shred in. And another blue bucket full of copper. And actually picked up some uh, e-waste. So I ended up with a my favorite. Crapple crap. Um, he gave me a box of breakers, which I don't really want breakers, but he puts them on the side, so I take them. Three tablets, two boxes of hard drives. Um, these I sell just like this. Ain't taking the boards off. Looks like a couple of cell phones. Yeah, a bunch of laptop ones. Um, just have to take all these out of the caddy. So, those are all good to go. Box of uh, office phones, which I got for free. I dug these out of the dumpster. Uh, I got a two stacks of little computers here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. 28 small ones, a little stack of uh, laptops, four regular size computers, uh, some switches, and I think 30 servers. So, no hard drives in them, which is fine because I don't, hard drives to me are like laptops. I don't even want to deal with them. But they all have between six, uh, actually between like two and six uh, memory sticks in each one. So that's good. And all the uh, power supplies uh, all have the gold fingers on it. So we can take them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve switches. 30 of those, whatever I said those were, whatever those were. And there's probably memory in that thing too. So I took in 103 pounds of number two copper. And I took in 1,123 pounds of shred. Shred went down to seven cents a pound. Uh, but 361, got 283 just for the copper. So copper has been staying at that price for probably three weeks now. Um, when I get a couple hundred pounds, he boosts it up 10, you know, 10 cents a pound for me. So, um, that's all good. Um, all of this mess cost me, what it cost me? Three, three twenty, and then another 140, so 340, no, three, like 460 for all the e-waste. But, um, you know, the server boards, they, uh. They pay pretty, pretty good per board. Plus, like I said, there's memory and all that crap. So I have one lonely motor over here to take apart. Um, before my buddy got here this morning, I took like 10 or 12 of them. Got the copper out of those to add to the bucket. So I added another 28 pounds of copper before my buddy got here because there was only 75 pounds in the bucket to start with. So I got that one to do, and I got to start on my next batch. So, now I got a few things I can do now. Um, I was playing with this stuff on uh, Scrapping Irish's live stream Sunday. Tinkering around, but that's all I got to get put in a bucket. Put this up here. Like that. There you go. Fan blowing, nobody's home. Just running down the battery. Can't get through there anymore. Uh, so put that over here. Get this cleaned up. And maybe I'll just screw around and get these cleaned up. Um, good thing about all those is they're all green metal. So they're all, you know, sort of kind of half decent. Kind of like those. So, I don't know if I'm going to do the switches or 
in the hard drives or what, but. <clears throat> and I still have another box I have to go out and get at the other scrapyard. Still have to do these. Um, I got a bad feeling this guy's going to call me this week to go pick up another box. Uh, what else I got going on? Anything? I took the yellow barrel out of the garage, put it in the shed. Um, I said I wanted to start uh, stockpiling copper, but um, the way my fi finances are right now, and trying to get money up for this house, uh, it's going to be a little bit before I can stockpile any anything. Um, these are. Hard drives with boards, hard drives with no boards. Uh, I told my buddy we're going to have to get rid of these this week. At least a good portion of them. Get those out of the way. My damn groundhog. As much as I like the groundhog and her... She has two or three babies out there. She keeps digging a hole right here. And I keep Every day I come in here and fill it up. So I put a big cement rock on there see if that keeps her from uh what she's doing is she's digging a hole right here see all this loose dirt is and i don't want the neighbor's dog to be uh, wandering over here so every day me and her have a a battle that piece of cement was right here in my way anyway so now i'll just fall in the hole and break my ankle and back is still jacked up but you know i gotta do what i gotta do i'm going easy it's just you know, loading all those servers because those are all in a uh, big metal box and I had to dig them all out of there and throw them in a the van and then unload them. But I got it done. Got it done. Um, I talked to my yard manager um, about possibly buying some uh, central air units off of them and he's like, you'd be surprised how many of those I give away. So he can't give them all to me, but he said he will give me some and, you know, he said, later. I forgot to take this. But, um, yeah, he said it wouldn't be because I asked him. I, he, I said they just throw them in the shred. And I said, uh, yeah, I seen two out there last week. He said, you should have said something. I would have gave them to you. But, you know, other things on my mind. And uh, like I said, I sit in the house at night and just the mind just goes, you know, trying to figure out different ways to make money because, like I said, e-waste Mike is... About two rungs from the bottom. So hopefully I can get this taken apart, weigh it up, and if I get a thousand dollars or something, I'll just run this down to Ohio, put seven hundred in the bank, and you know after my expenses, and yeah, just keep going from there. Um, everybody asks, well, why don't you go do fund me or that? No, I don't. That's not my thing. I'm not one to ask for help. Just the way I am. Uh, I mean, if it got down to it, I probably would. But um, I'm always the person that helps everybody. So it's just kind of a... I don't know what you call it, but... It's not a pride thing. It's just... I don't know. I was always taught to help people. Not be helped. Ah, here we go. So, I may be, uh, so buying motors, um, these are all aluminum, I gotta go swap these out, these still have to be done, um, it's like really hot out here, so I really don't want to be out in the sun, doing that mess, um, what else, what else, what else, oh yeah, so, as of now, I can buy electronics, motors, and central air units from the yard. So, uh, if I can keep doing that and still, you know, afford to eat and pay my bills, then I'll be doing all right. And my neighbor gave me all this stuff the other day. It's been laying here about three days. I get that picked up, put that in the yard as well. Uh, yeah, two more.
more crapples. There's two more crapples over there. So, what I really need to do is work on these. Maybe I'll work on these, get these out of here. Get those out. Oh, there's three crapples over here. One, uh, two, uh, three. Uh. Yes, yeah, so maybe I'll just um, do that. Get these done. Well, somebody's eating the lettuce I put there. I got a hell of a hole dug over here. I got to trim this back so I can go in here and see what's going on. See the hole right there? But all this dirt is piled up here. I don't know how that fat one even fits under that fence, but she does. And they wonder this one here, right there. My uh, trumpet vine is fully bloomed. Blocks the yard over here, so I guess I could throw some shit over here. No, I gotta get out of here. Can't put no more stuff in here. Gotta get stuff out of here. So, there we have it, folks. Uh, blessed with a little e-waste finally after a it's been a while a good month or so and like I said I know there's a box at the other yard but that's a you know 16 mile drive one way just to go get a box of computers I don't really think it's worth it so when the other company calls for the pickup um, it's only like three miles from there so I can squeeze it all out in one trip I might get the lawnmower and cut this grass, maybe. These dead people never cut their grass. I trimmed up a bunch of trees that were growing in here. Gotta trim this thing back. This is a mess right here. Yeah, I gotta put my neighbor's trash out too today. Bam, I got too much to do. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that, too. So, get my snips out and uh, snip all that. By the end of the day. Alright, guys. So, that's about it. I'm actually going to go in and grab something for lunch. And, uh, I'm looking online for, uh, As much as I don't want to do a uh, mortgage, mortgage are so hard to do now, especially when you're a scrapper, because they want like a proof of income, and I mean, I have all my receipts and stuff, but, you know, um, I could probably talk to one of my old employers and uh, he'd vouch for me, say I work for him or something, but um, I don't really want to go that route, because then I'm, you know, obligated for years and years and years. But, uh, yeah, I can't talk to her until next month, around the 14th, I think. She said she had a vacation coming, so she was going to come down here with a U-Haul and move stuff out of here. And then the probate is supposed to be like the 21st of next month. That should be done. So, um, then she'll figure it out from there. But, um, like I said, I think she's just going to want to cash out on it. Hopefully not. Um... And give her a sob story or something. I don't know. We shall see. So, with that being said, appreciate y'all. Keep scrapping, keep working, and uh, stay safe. The ghost of e waste, Mike.